just doing a little sound check. I think that's actually pretty good. Um, hopefully, I mean, never really know. But, um, yes, hello. Another stream today. I don't really do them too often, but I like doing them. So, this game just came out. Flew under my radar. Don't know how. I've played practically every, um, I guess you could say new age Sherlock Holmes game. But this one I just didn't realize was coming out until today. Yesterday, technically. Um, so I'm kind of excited considering the fact that it's combining Lovecraftian horror with Sherlock Holmes. I love both of those things, and I really have high expectations for this. Um, I don't know anything about the game other than that. The, the only uh, Sherlock, guns I, Sherlock Holmes game of the New Age stuff that I haven't played is actually the, um, chapter one. I played through some of it, just not all of it. Something I might go back and play on stream later if I think this works very well. So yeah, we'll just start right into it, and I hope everything is ready. Hopefully not. Dr. Watson, would you kindly close the door behind you so that we can limit the price of your carelessness to merely hours of work rather than days? My apologies, Mr. Holmes. I found myself rather taken aback. <laughs> I saw tidy houses in war-torn Afghanistan. Are those my surgical needles? I ran out of tax and the matter required immediate attention. Was that my supper? Plainly not, for I was the one who ate it. Damn. Hmm, I set it aside for this evening. And for that, I am grateful. Is that my bed? Watson, since you've proven yourself a master of observation, might I ask you to apply your skills to a more pertinent question? Namely, the whereabouts of today's newspapers. They are the key to everything. The newsboy is usually reliable. Medically speaking, I often find that the key to everything is good sleep in a bed. Your papers are here on the table. Let us see what the postman brought today. So right away, I recognize this room. This is the uh, same layout as the other games besides Chapter 1. It's very nice to see it bring brought back. I have very fond memories. They have changed around what's on the tables. I, I'm a little bit of a nerd when it comes to this. Oh no, I'm being called out by myself. Alright, so let's see. I need to look at this newspaper. Sorry, I just was- I just like to look at them. Okay, makes sense. So it has to be the newspaper. Tension between England and Sweden are running high after a series of unfortunate mishaps during a recent visit to London by Swedish princes- Oh no, I'm gonna butcher that, I'm sorry. Builder? I probably butchered that, I feel really bad. I always feel bad about that type of stuff. Okay. Not gonna read all of this, except I am just not out loud. <laughs> Some just a missing bodyguard. Local gossip, all of it uninteresting. Yep, the missing bodyguard was very uninteresting. Your order from Barnes Bookshop has arrived, Doctor. Barnes insists on delivering the books to our door, Can even though we could easily walk to his shop. That's good service. Another letter from Werner. I never reply, but they keep coming. Oh, okay. 
I don't see the strand. Where is it? Pardon me? I am on the precipice of uncovering a pattern of crime across London spanning many months and involving many men. The missing paper cannot be a coincidence. That's preposterous. My dear fellow, life is infinitely stranger than anything which the mind of man can invent. Well, life used your newspaper to wipe its posterior, so after that unpleasant discovery this morning, I disposed of it. But in lieu of the strand, perhaps I can deliver you something equally tantalizing. I have just returned from a patient of mine, Captain Stemwick, who... No, no, that will not do. Grab your coat, Dr. Watson. Let us hope nobody has collected the dustbin. Ah, I know I should get going, but I just want to look around this room so much. Can't get into either of the rooms, which sucks. I kind of want to look at them. But other than that, I have bought the uh, slightly more expensive version for the costume. I like it. Oh, <gasps> I can knock things over. Can, can I? It's not. I really want to knock that off the table. Yes! Okay. This has become my new favorite Sherlock Holmes game just because of that feature. <laughs> Devil's Daughter, move aside. I like this one more. Oh, I should not have found out about this. Come on. Just a little more. Okay, maybe if I... There's a run to this room. I cannot. Please. Get off. Yes. Okay, no, I'd stop. Yeah, I'd stop. We can resist it. We can resist it. We can resist it. Oh, he's coming with us. How lovely. The dustbin is yours for the digging stones. Thank you. Every time I play one, the. Oh. I found the outfit. <laughs> Looks all fancy in that room. Which one do I like? Okay, let's start with that. Let's just look at the hats first. Oh, I can't cover up his hair. Every time that I play one of these Sherlock games, I look at sh how they made Sherlock's hair and I go, I could pull it off, but I know I can't. It's a problem. Oh. I, I don't think I'll give him a degree. I, I'll say that much. Oh, that makes me sad. Oh, we can dress up Watson in this one too. That was in uh, chapter one as well, wasn't it? What outfit would he look lovely in? I'll just keep that one. Oh, can I get rid of that? Oh, this is nice. This is lovely. Oh, out we go. So that's fine. Here's the trash. Oh, oh, what am I looking at? What am I looking at? What was that? A cactus oh. spine. If it gets oh. in your skin, it's awfully tricky to remove, and when oh. used with poison, the perfect assassination tool. All right. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. You were mistaken, Dr. Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. It's potting soil. See, Watson, the conspiracy is real. Someone tried to poison me. Poison? You? That's madness. I'm a little paranoid, but you know what I mean? That's fine. Get the strand. Get oh, your copy of the strand it? here. Hey, what's up? Sorry, Mr. Holmes. I just sold my last paper. <laughs> Glass. Then why are you still here? Exactly. Boss pays by the hour. No sense in returning early. <laughs> yeah. 
That's fair enough. Any breaking news today? The dock accident. It's the talk of the town. Yes, yes. Besides the tripe on the front page, anything about burglaries? I'm not sure, sir. You're a bright child. I presume you see everything that goes on around here? Nothing gets past me, mister. Then tell me, did you notice anyone suspicious at my door this morning? Hmm. Like the man with your newspaper? Precisely. What do you know? I know the value of a shilling. Dr. Watson. Cool. Oh, this now is I can fair take enough. the day off. Can you describe the man you saw? He was carrying a lot of books. Up to his chin they were. Never heard of a well-read assassin. Looks can deceive. Hence the appeal of disguises. Which way did he go? Not sure. I was attracted by customers. Sorry. Did you see what he was up to? Nah, not really. I saw him approaching your house, but I had a customer. Then there's a loud bang. I ducked down. Not because I was scared, because I wasn't. <laughs> I had to protect the merchandise, and all I could see was him kneeling at your door. All right. You earned your shilling. That'll be all. Thanks, Mr. Holmes. Maybe I could be your eyes and ears, if you have more shillings. The case with the sea, and then the mine palace. <laughs> this is not- is this my palace? Probably. It's been a while since I played one of these. So, there is no way that the cactus mine is poison. <laughs> it's just a cactus. It's a single one. So that's my guess. But Get the way. strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Do you even have enemies that would want to kill you? Okay, perhaps from Cordona. Ooh, Get tokens. the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. I just kind of want to run around town. They closed the road. Now how am I supposed to run in there? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that doesn't mean anything at all. Oh, oh I made my way to the bookshop on accident. I see those there. Impressive stature, strong gaze. I think this man deserves a knighthood. Fair Lady enough. Holmes, how can you be so sure? On rare occasions, Watson, it can suffice to trust one's gut. Fair enough. Well, well, Watson, you made that piece of wood glitch into the ground. This is all your fault. I cannot believe you've done it. We could just hide it. Yeah, see? All better. It's like nothing ever happened. This is the bookshop, okay. Can I go in? I, I cannot. That's tragic. Okay, I guess I should do the mind palace thing. So. Uh, what? I don't know what this means. I don't know what I just did, but I did it. <laughs> Come now, Mr. Holmes. Murder? Yes, Barnes has his quirks, but he also has his scruples. Not every pawn knows it's part of a game. D Keep hidden evidence. Oh, that's nice. So, like, right here? Yeah. So did he just come back while I was thinking? <laughs> because that's what it seems to have happened. Um, <clears throat> you know what? Sure, fine, yeah. I don't know how he slipped by me, but hey, he did it. How about that Vogel fellow? He seems rather obsessed with you. Would he do something like this? Just not gonna talk to the guy. Instead, I'm gonna look around a little bit. I could hardly imagine anything more macabre. Really? At all? All right, buddy. Let me say. Is he teleporting again? 
Okay, no, he's just walking really fast. <gasps> so, Hans has a dog now. Who's a good boy? I forgot there are dogs. Is that? It looks like how they did um what Sherlock's dog looks like. I forget Sherlock's dog's name. Or if it even is his dog. God, imagine somebody walking into your bookstore, getting right up. Oh, hi, Watson. Getting right up in your face and looking at you. Like, honestly. What's going on right here? Dang, calling this guy out. All right. I think he's just a workaholic. <laughs> yeah. Works a lot. Um Conf is not very confident. So, uh, Mr. Bones, him out, a word. <gasps> Did he not see us there? We had walking oh, around the shop. Who, uh, who goes there? Sherlock Holmes. Now, will you please, Mr. Holmes? Sorry, I did not see you coming. Would you care to questions? I wish I could, but I am deep in the weeds with work. How about we uh, reschedule in a month or two? Mood. Come now, Mr. Barnes. It will only take a moment. Really deep in the weeds with, uh, with important things. Well, help yourself to any book. Just type it a pay later. I trust you, Mr. Holmes. Barnes doesn't seem like himself. Why is he acting this way? You're asking the right questions. Hey, maybe it was the black Let's victim. find a way to coax him out. Z to highlight. Okay. Oh, the dog. Just dog. Right up here. Basics of cryptoanalysis. Cryptography in Egypt. It appears Barnes. Ah, yes, Egypt. Hobby. That was. Up. Oh. The worst thing about me is that I know so much stuff about Lovecraftian horror and just Lovecraft in general, but I cannot express that in words. But in Egypt, I'm pretty sure it was, um, I might be wrong, I might be wrong, but something important was found there and I think it might have been the Necronomicon or a different book of that importance. Maybe not the novel in itself, and a reoccurring character from Lovecraftian horror also at part. Of the oh, all right, fair enough. Oh, we like slow. Oh, we like plants. What? Twenty-four out of fifty on this. Can I just leave? You can't. Wait, hold on. Can <laughs> you can just leave? <laughs> I'm not gonna leave. No. Language of Mycroft's secret agents, it's a sign. Dried flowers are replaced when the job is uh -oh. done. I wonder who the recipient is. What's around here? Oh, okay. The finest view London has to offer. Uh, I. Oh, we must An see improvised that. stand. Let's make the flowers more visible. I might have been wrong. The ladder is broken recently, judging by the freshness of the wood. That would have given me a mini heart attack if that happened if I while I stood on it. Barnes has always been a little odd, but this is uncharacteristic even for him. Yeah. Congrats. 
apologies, but I can't hear you. Please come back later. So, Barnes has a job now. Who's your good boy? I guess we have to leave, right? And talk to probably the flower lady. Excuse me, flower lady. The weather is dreary, isn't it? To be fair, my flowers could use the rainfall. Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses. Our national emblem. God save the queen. The pot is damaged. Oh. The blow was severe, but softened by something. The pot is damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by yeah, something. Yeah, you, you don't have to say that again. There it is. Familiar spine. It's what I found in my dustbin. I used to have cacti, and I would often accidentally smack my hands into them. And really sucked. It must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I imagine so. I merely sell them. I think Comey just bought flowers. Anything tickle your fancy, Mr. Holmes? She's pretty. Dog. <laughs> How I don't know. <laughs> I'm always gonna. <sighs> I forgot about this part of these games. I kinda hate it. I don't know her life. I think she's all right now. I mean, you know, I think she's doing fine. Mrs. Fleming, herself. you look particularly lovely today. Is there a reason? Does a woman need a reason to look or feel beautiful? No, but your distant look suggests you seek one man's gaze in particular. What? Who told you that? Nobody. Merely a keen eye and some simple deduction. Well, I'll kindly ask you to keep your keen eye to yourself, Mr. Holmes. Yeah, I wouldn't have said it out loud, buddy. Alright, evidence. I mean, I can ask about this. Or specifically this. I think that Mr. Barnes just has a really hard time keeping plants alive, so he went to buy a cactus. <laughs> but then he dropped the cactus and had to return it. Yeah, because they're in love. Let's ask about this. Are you sure you're asking the right person? I'm just a Never flower mind. seller. I don't know what else to be asking about. What do you make of the flowers in Barnes' shop window? Well, they could use a bit of water. Do they mean anything to you? Mean anything how? I'm not sure I follow, Mr. Holmes. Why do you think they're there? Are you suggesting the flowers are for me? It seems likely, does it not? Oh. I hope you're right. Aw. Ask her about the plants. Are you sure you're asking the right person? Oh. I'm just a flower seller. I don't know. If, did we just ask you about Mr. Are Barnes? Are you familiar oh. with Mr. Barnes? Yes. No, not really. Well, in a way. What on earth does that mean? I know who he is, of course. But we haven't shared much more than a look. A look? 
Yes. Each morning I go for a walk in the park with my dog. And most days I spot Mr. Barnsley with his new puppy. So we see each other. That's Actually, nice. we once met briefly while our dogs played. He was quiet and seemed unsteady as he approached. But since then, we've never spoken. I often see him staring through the shop window. Sometimes I wonder what he thinks about that would edge such longing onto his face. Oh, <laughs> I wonder what. <laughs> Do I just... is there nothing for me just asking everything? I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. I don't know anything about this, sorry. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. Because nothing stopping me, I'm just Are you sure you're that. asking the right person? I'm just a flower seller. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. Are you sure you're asking the right person? You can't. I'm just a flower seller. Yeah, you're a flower seller. You're gonna tell me about the roses for sale? Like, I don't know. One of these things is not like the other. Come again? The cactus. Those fearsome spines can prove a devil to remove. And the sap is often toxic. And a rose thorn can give you tetanus, but we still grow them. The cactus seems comparatively harmless. Do you have me thinking it must be valuable? I was under the impression that you knew its price already. Your guess is as good as mine. The first time I saw this cactus was when I came back from my break. Oh, he gave it to her. It was a present and he dropped it. He was too embarrassed. Oh, how cute. Unless we're going about this the entire wrong way, who knows? Hopefully not. I'm a hopeless romantic at heart. So, answer the dog now. Don't look at the Who's dog. a good boy? So, get into the bath. Come on, lock on the door. No dog, it's fine too. Uh. <laughs> Oh, there's something. There's another dog. Sorry. Hello there. What's your name? Lily. I know. Not very original. I think Lily's a really cute dog for a flower salesperson dog. That's perfect, actually. Do I still have something to talk about with her? Should have worn something warmer. Sure, though. Is there something over here? This door's open. Please let me pet the cat. Please let me pet the cat. Please. <laughs> you cannot pet the cat. I am sad. The shine in the ball of my bell is an interactive building. Sometimes I run into Watson and I feel a little bad about it. Okay, let's try over here. Just out of curiosity. Have a little thing which means it'll be useful for something eventually. Just not yet. A market? A horse? Aw. Oh, yeah. Oh, it crashed. At least you're fine. It's kinda just chillin' there. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, sort of thing? Just fine then. They don't seem very worried about this. My cabbages. I know this is probably just lettuce, but my cabbages. I'm stealing this one. <laughs> this one's mine. Oh, well, how far can I take this before they're like, no? Probably just forever. I shouldn't even um, try. If it's been acting up, so I kind of just want to check my my uh, dropped frames real quick. I mean, that's quite a lot, I think, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, fantastic. 
fantastic to an extent. Why are you crying? <laughs> I can't interact with you, so sucks to suck, I guess. Here, make a loop. Aha, uh -huh. what's this? I'm close, I know it. I just need one more piece to crack the case. Okay, some of these syringes aren't even holding things up. Why are they still here? Also, that's a good point. Why specifically medical syringes? Like, you clearly have just pins. Oh, so this is a science station. Fantastic. Weird detail, but I could have sworn that this used to be where the science station was at with the missed call. Could just be wrong, though. So there's nothing really here either. You're looking for a cactus needle in a haystack. Hmm. A spine in a bookstack? No, come on, Watson, think. There is something with spines in books there. You're getting there, Watson. I believe in you. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. I thought you said you were going to take the day off. I'll stand watch, just in case the strange man comes back. Okay, you just want my buddy, buddy. Alright, okay, well, I've kind of looked around everywhere, so where could it be? What am I looking for? Can I go into your shop? No. I guess there must be something in here that I missed. I don't know if the yellow means anything. Unsurprisingly, I'm already stuck. <laughs> I like bookshops. One of the few spots in London where you were shunned for making a racket. Alright, fair enough, I guess. just bad at games. Like, I already knew that was the case, but maybe I'm even worse than I thought. Oh, it's still way over here. Oh, that just goes over here, though. Okay, hold on. Maybe it's in the mine palace? Maybe I- Oh, it could just be that. So... I think Can I? I can Well it's definitely Miss Fleming It's definitely Okay so it's not fine Oh so each one of these matches a color I understand now Okay I get it I think that they're in love I think they're in love. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll get there eventually, don't worry. There we go. Now what do I do with this? I either I uh think perhaps I have been chasing shadows. You think do not despair, Mr. Holmes. Even <laughs> the best of us make mistakes. You better tell Mr. Barnes what we've learned. I'm going the wrong way. Okay, so I wasn't I was stuck only because I didn't look. <laughs> Mr.
Mr. Barnes, I know what you did, and I know why you did it. I'm sorry, Mr. Holmes. I can't hear you very well from behind the door. You ordered a cactus from the plant catalogue and then left it for Mrs. Fleming as a gift. You place flowers in the window to get her attention and wear high heels to appear taller and more desirable. You are her secret admirer. Ooh, he fell. I couldn't read this morning's edition of The Strand because it was covered in soil and spines. I know you dropped a cactus on it and then fled. Barnes? It's Dr. Watson. Rest assured, we are not interested in disclosing your personal affairs to anyone, including Mrs. Fleming. Please come out. Uh, all right, then. So, you know what happened, then? I was on my way back from the post office, having picked up the cactus and some books. It was quite an awkward package, heavy too, and when I got to your door, I dropped the cactus on your paper. Forgive me. I needed that paper to prove a theory and prevent a crime. Your actions were rather disruptive. Your clumsiness carrying the post is matched only by the clumsiness of your romantic gesture. Bruh. Oh, it's true. I am useless for this sort of thing. I'm not even sure if Mrs. Fleming noticed. To help him out. As in most things in life, truth is the answer. Cease with the obtruse signals and anonymous gifts and simply talk to the woman. What is the worst that can happen? She rejects you and you are free Sherlock. from this endless purgatory. That. Yes, you are correct. Sherlock, of course. don't just say that. I do have a slight tendency to overthink things. Thank you. So at last, we return to the matter of the paper. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm not investigating at all. a string of burglaries. Did you perhaps read of any this before? This is literally the still the tutorial. <laughs> I don't recall, but you're welcome to read our copy for yourself. You had an issue of the Strand here all along? Well, naturally. I am a bookseller. I have a subscription to every magazine and newspaper in London. So you ought to be familiar with the concept of burying the lead. I... Oh, no. Uh, my apologies, Mr. Holmes. I'll make it up to you however I can. I am an expert on obscure languages and translation and and uh, yes yes okay just give me the paper. Ooh, an achievement too. I like my achievements. All right. Rude awakening last night with blood things and red smoke on the dock. Explosives. Interesting. Come, Dr. Watson. Let us put this matter behind us. Farewell, Fantastic. Mr. Barnes. I hope to hear good news about you and Mrs. Fleming. The uh, first game. Are you talking about chapter one or the ones before well, that? That was an utter Oops. waste of time. An assassination did seem rather unlikely. There was supposed to be another burglary. I was certain of it. Hmm. Something you wish to say? Doctor? No. Well, only that you have a remarkable faculty for deduction and pattern recognition. And that perhaps, if ill-applied, I see things that are not there. Yes. It is London. There will always be burglaries. Doesn't have to mean anything. So it seems. Forgive me. Without something to occupy my mind, I turn into an entirely different animal. Which brings us back to my news from earlier. Oh. My volume and volume of the game. A Give me a second. Let's see. Since this is, is that better? I said I knew just the man to help. What do you say? Oh, Watson. Yes, I know it's not the most tantalizing mystery, nor the story to launch my writing career. Awesome, thank it's you. Thrilling. Let's um, go. Oh, good. Well, his house is nearby. Come. All right. I have high hopes for this game, I'm going to be honest, just because I've played the majority of Sherlock games and I and I love um a Lovecraftian horror. The name of that one, same color towels. If it was the one that came out recently, it was probably ch chapter 1, 
but there were a few other games before that by the same developers as well. Where was I supposed to be going? I immediately just didn't listen. Oh, Dredge is on my to playlist. I haven't gotten it yet, though. Oh, it's the mansion. I know where that is. I just walked to it. <laughs> Not much further now. This was close before. Is this lousy attitude of yours because of my altercation with Inspector Lockhart? Yeah, Did that's he fair. Put you up to this? Sir, the inspector has nothing to do with it. I'm telling you the same thing I tell anyone seeking a missing person. <clears throat> Good day, gentlemen. Forgive the intrusion. Captain Stenwick, this is my colleague Sherlock Holmes, the consulting detective I told you about. At last, a professional. This useless officer refuses to do anything about Kimmy here, my missing servant. What was your name again? I shall be certain to inform your superiors. Sergeant Ruffles. It was my superiors who made this decision, sir. I've seen a few Lovecraftian games that look pretty cool, I just never tried. I don't remember the names, though. Um, let's see. Have there been other disappearances lately? Of course, here and there. But when life is tough and opportunity comes knocking, you can't blame those who answer. Why has the police department decided not to help? We investigate murders, theft, fraud, arson, real crimes. A servant walking away from his master is not our highest priority. That said, if we find Kimmy here breaking the law, we'll be sure to notify Captain Stenwick. Now, I must be off. Best of luck in your search. <laughs> you heard that, didn't you? The way that man spoke to me. I shall need your written testimony. Then we can lodge a complaint. Captain, perhaps Mr. Holmes' time is better spent learning about your servant, so that he may begin his investigation. Ah, yes. Quite right. Fire away. I... I've played every, um, or most Sherlock games from Frogwares, except for Chapter 1. I started it and just didn't finish it. And Sinking City, I saw, didn't play. It is on my list of this one's good, because I know Frogwares made that as well. May I see your servant's bedroom? His shack is in the garden. Look, I'd miss it. Did you search the room? Of course, but only to check he wasn't lying dead inside. Everything seemed normal at a glance. Oh, oh no, more questions. Tell me about Kimmy here. He's foreign. A Maori, all the way from New Zealand. Biggest man you've ever seen, and as strong as two. Dark hair and fearsome tattoos. He doesn't speak a whit of English, never bothered to learn. But I made do with pointing. I invested a lot of money in him, so he must be found. If you're looking for recommendations of another Sherlock Games from Frogwares, that's good. Um, the Devil's Daughter is my favorite. They are! It's surprising, but hey, they make some good ones, so I'm not complaining. When did you last see your servant? Kimmy here normally brings me the morning papers, but yesterday I had to get them myself. He must have escaped the night before yesterday. Yeah, that's the uh, newest one before this one came out. I take it this is the first time Kimmy here has vanished? Undoubtedly. The man seemed terrified of the city. I think it was all the noise. He never left this estate. Should he cause any damage, I will bear the responsibility, for it was I who rescued him from savagery and brought him here to England in the first place. I don't know why I stopped playing Chapter 1. Sorry, I don't like talking over cutscenes. Awesome. Um, I don't like... What? I didn't play through Chapter 1 and I have zero memory of why I stopped, but I loved the concept. Yeah, that's fair, honestly. Is there any reason Kimahir may have left? I should think not. He had all he could have wanted. Oh, no, it's fine. Employment, new clothes, and all the cabbage he could eat. You're fine to talk. I'll still respond. I just if don't like Kimahir talking over cutscenes. Heavens no. 
I would have mentioned it to Sergeant Ruffles. Still, he must have paid you with some money on his person. No, no. I kept his wages in my safe for security. All right, Captain. I think I have enough to get started. We shall first take a look around the mansion. Go ahead. I'll be here, mentally drafting my complaint. All right, first real mystery of this game. That isn't just a love story. Can I go in? No. How do I get in the mansion? Please let Why me in. Why are you still here? Is it not this mansion? <laughs> oh no. Oops, that's not what I meant to click. I can talk to Watson. Stenwick makes his servant live in a tool, tool shed. shed. You think you know someone? Ooh, I bet it was. Yeah, I'll probably go back and replay that at some or play that at some point after this. <gasps> I forgot you could hit things. What's that? What's that mean? I don't know what that means. Chewing tobacco. Okay. What does that mean? I can't inspect it. A shoe print, roughly size 11, with a worn out sole. These are a workman's boots. I don't know why I can't inspect that. I feel like I should be able to. Oh, oh. Okay. I don't entirely know how I did that. Someone knelt here. The amount of chewing tobacco suggests they were waiting a while. A noisy Mr. Holmes. To read the ground like Oh, it's Q. Oh. Well, I'm so glad it told me that just now. <laughs> Right after I figured that out. Oh. Yep, thanks. I just figured that out. Let's see the rest. Keep forgetting I can run. Impressive. The sack of grain retained the shape of an impact. Someone hit their head here. Nice comfy pillow. Where else? Where else? Oh, there it is. A small made of spyglass. Okay. Let me out of here. Is this a tanny pie, a Maori water spill, or something else? Either way, it's giving me chills. Yeah, your guess is as good as mine, Sherlock. <laughs> The ashes are long since cold. Button chops. The remains of a meal. Nice. Tasty little snack. A heavy chemical odor. Lend me your nose, Doctor. Ah, I'll never forget that smell after my time in Afghanistan. That's an opioid, Mr. Holmes, and I'll cough. Some more. A Maori nose boot. Ngurus, they're called. Clothes made of hessian. Is Stenwick really so miserly? Oh, there is some more over here. No air coming through. A scrap of hessian. These were sturdy boxes. It would have required a serious blow to break them. Honestly, I'm also liking it. I keep forgetting I can't just press escape to leave that. It also, um, I don't know if you care, but I care. It has more clothing outfits. Oh, these are from Chapter 1, actually. I remember these. I like this one more. I'm gonna change Watson again, too. Yeah, that's just a little detail. I like little customizable things like that. This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I guess some locks are just like that. Is there more here? Let's try pressing key. I'm missing something. Some two things. Can't shift while I'm in that. Was it me? Oh. 
Well, it wouldn't be that because he has to be facing the um. Oops. Yeah, he has to be facing the um pot for it to make an imprint. But that's all I have. All right. Fair enough. Is there another one? It's over there. I think I looked at everything I could look at right now. It's probably stuff out of this area. Also, I'm not very good at these types of games as much as I've played them, so I'm gonna get stuck a lot. So I'm gonna go here. Can I talk to you more? I can. I'm going to ask about. Key. The door to your garden has an interesting lock. Yes, I have uncommon locks on every door of my mansion. It makes them harder to pick. Kimmy here and I both had a set of keys. I'll need to borrow them. No, you'll need to do what I tell you to do. Examine the garden. Okay, rude. <laughs> um... Spyglass might be something. Is this spyglass familiar? I don't recognize it. Could it be Kimihira's glass? I doubt it. I never saw him with it, nor could I suggest how he might have come by it. I thought you were meant to be intelligent. Rude. Wow, Do okay. Do you to know Kimihira's shoe size? I wouldn't have the foggiest. Well, I'm sure it was enormous. Not that it matters. He spent his life barefoot. Despite my best efforts, he simply did not take to shoes. So, if he stayed barefoot, that wasn't his. I'm just gonna start clicking things. <laughs> but I know this. I came across a pile of Hessian clothes in the shack. Are they Kimihir's? Yes. I had to give him something to clothe himself. He seemed unfazed by his bare skin, but I found it... Distracting. Distracting? Oh! <laughs> Has Kimahir ever indulged in tobacco? No. The man doesn't even drink. Are you certain? I found chewing tobacco in the garden. I controlled Kimahir's expenses since he struggled with the currency. I would have known if he used tobacco. Distracting? I'm still not over that. <laughs> like, I get it, homie. I understand. Well, you can say it. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge you. Honestly, I wanna lockpick the door. I don't know if I can, but I wanna do it. I don't think I can, and I'm sad by this. This lock is quite unusual. Wait, no. You don't have to talk about to this right. anymore. I just want to lockpick it. Where, where do I go next then? If I found everything, it's probably out here looking for clues out in the street. Maybe. Unless there's something over here. Why is he just. Everything else is foggy and then it's just him! <laughs> like. <laughs> okay, it's making sure I know where he is. Oh yeah, hey, check it out. Cart. Police cart. Is this anything? I don't think it is. This horse is just staring at the wall though. No one else looking at me. I didn't mean to offend it. Nothing over here, I didn't see anything light up. Oh, wait. Cause this is how I got stuck earlier. It might be in here. So, okay. I'm just gonna start with these, because it has two of these. I'm just gonna try everything. I'm gonna try to make sense of it, but you never know. Fantastic! I got every single thing wrong. <laughs> Great. Oh, there's no green. So 
So I am missing clothes. Okay. Should I try anything? Yeah, I'm not sure if I could try anything else. So I am missing something. Okay. Now I could go in there and do like a fourth sweep, or I could just wander around the streets until I find something. I want to go this way first. Let's go in here. Might be something I picked up or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. No, I don't think there's anything in here. <laughs> oh, excuse me. S excuse me. Thank you. Hey, hey kid, you know anything? Why don't you give me another shilling now? Because I'm sure I'll spot something else soon. No? Respect. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. I respect this hustle. I'm not going to tell him not to get money that way. Surely I could just ask around. My gratitude, Sir Arthur. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> I guess he just really wanted to say that. You know anything? People don't tend to come out for flowers when it rains. Perhaps I should try selling door to door. If you want. Can't stop you with that. You know anything? Let me know if there's any way I can make it up to you. I'll tell you what. Tomorrow's edition of the Strand is on me. Alright, I guess it doesn't know anything. Fine, I'll go back to the mansion and figure it out the correct way. Oh, the tragedy and horror of going back to places. Yeah. <laughs> To find my man, I have a marvelous whiskey with your name on it. Tell you what, if you'd let me open that lock, maybe we'd find him a little faster, buddy. <laughs> oh, we have more stuff now. Where was that other one? Where was that? It was right here. So it wasn't the guy. It was someone else. What's the other options? What, what's the difference? Oh, and a spyglass. Okay, I'll say it has a spyglass for now. Because that would make sense of where a spyglass came from. This... Okay... A little grim, but you know what? It would make sense that he was, um, dragged if there's cloth right there. So I think I'll go with that. And we're still missing one over here. But no yellow marks. So maybe I can ask him more questions now that I've gotten those? He doesn't seem very concerned despite me asking for stuff. This dreary rain is making a miserable like, day even worse. You can be out there looking as well. You don't need me for all of this. Let's see, I'm out of blue. I think I have to find out who the spyglass belongs to, but how would I find that out? I guess I'd, I'd say I should go to the docks, but I'm pretty sure that way was blocked, was it not? Oh, 
Oh, I'm also horrible with directions, but you know what? I think I went the right way. Because that's blocked. And then there's another way over here that's locked with a gate. Yeah. I think that's this. Maybe I'm missing something just at the uh, fence line somewhere. There's a cooldown this. I can't be just. Do you think Kimmy here had an accomplice in his escape? Yes, Watson. I do think that. Yes, Denwick is no angel, but he's one of my few clients. Please try to remain courteous. Oh, I kind of. Sorry, buddy. I was just insulting him. Um. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so he doesn't really tell me much. So unless it's something that I missed, like, right here, I'm not sure. It would be funny if it was just right here. There's a cooldown on pressing Z. What else you want to say? This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. Oh! Oh, I'm... I'm blind. I'm so blind. I looked at this out the window. It showed us this out the window and I just forgot. Oh, that's awful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Cloth. The rag reeks of smoke. Someone plugged the chimney. Oh, they smoked him out. Oh, he probably passed out then. Not was like hit with anything. What's this? Can I look at this? No, I can't. Excuse me. And then that probably gave us the last thing. Thank you. What? Uh. I don't quite know what this is implying. Did, is that implying they shoved the opioid into here and then clogged it? So if that's the case, where's our dude? I think that makes more sense because he said he doesn't even smoke. So, because he doesn't buy that. So it has to be that, right? Where to now? This disappearance is intriguing, no? I cannot make head nor tail of it. Okay, I guess you ran out of things to say. Oh, I can't believe I'm so blind. Are you stupid, Mr. Holmes? Stop loitering. You go and do your job. This guy's so mean. Check the cart? Oh, where's the cart? Is the cart in here? There card? Oh, there is. Okay, I just immediately did not see that. It doesn't show up with anything. I bet it was used to hop over it because this is still locked. So I bet that was just used to hop over. Oh, I can connect things in my brain now. My mind palace. Yes! Wait, no, that didn't work. Oh, <laughs> dang it! But it's the cloth and chimney. That didn't work. Okay. So I'm still missing something. I have everything, like here. That makes sense, right? I think that makes sense. Oops, I didn't include that. I'm not seeing anything else on the ground either. A speed walk. I feel like a little bird just looking over his shoulder. Stop 
loitering. Mean. I'm doing my job, I'm just struggling. Excuse me, did you see anyone hop this fence? No? Okay, fine. This is... Oh, kitty! This is a weird place to just keep a cart, just in the way. I'm so sad I can't pet the cat. Okay, you know what? Let's take a moment and just look at everything. So it is saying to look at the cart. Oh, you know what? I probably was supposed to uh, focus on it. I just didn't do that. That's really my bad. Sometimes I forget that focusing is a thing. As in, I'm always forgetting that. Constantly. I only just learned about it. <laughs> I was... Ew, moldy. Tragedy. Well then, I bet that has something that's this, and then we still just need that clue. What else? It's broken but moldy. No chance it used it lately, so they're still finding something. So what else could have made the trail? There's the cart out there, if I want to run over there again. <laughs> Just go around looking at every single cart like, are you the one who did this? Oh, this is way too big. Yeah, no, and it's police. What about this cart that crashed over here? Could this be it? Oh, it's not. I'm so sad. I should probably just stop leaving the garden. Everything seems to just be in the garden, bird. I like birds. Wait, don't you get a vision on those thing green things? What do you mean a vision? No, for those, um... There appears to be certain points where I could do it, which look like little floating orbs, like that. But it seems like anything that's just a clue will just be circled. If that makes sense. Okay, maybe I just continued to be blind. I I swear this was not here before. Someone moved a cart to this spot and then took it elsewhere. I swear that wasn't there. Maybe it's just feeling bad for me. <laughs> Still no. Okay. The logs near the shack. What? Oops, I didn't click that. A garden cart is usually kept under the rain cover. Okay. Now the real question is. Why did you kick that log? That's not the real question. The real question is... Oh no, there's another one now! I'm never gonna say what the real question is. Okay. I feel like that makes the most sense, right? Because then he's passed out, because how would he get him out? Like this. Yeah, I, I I believe in myself. That feels right. Okay, in that case, this also has a thing that must be what I'm looking at next. Now I know he probably won't say anything else, but I do want to ask this guy about something, literally anything. Are you stupid, Mr. Holmes? Stop loitering. Go and do your job. If I had, uh, if this was a type of game where you had multiple quests at the same time, I would just stop doing this quest with how often that guy says that. Oh, I'd probably focus on the lock then. That 
I feel like I should just focus on lock. I need to remember more about the focus. No, that didn't do anything. Fantastic. Um... Unless the key is hidden in here somewhere. I don't... Alright, run into me, I guess. I don't think I'm gonna find anything. He's kind of camouflaged with the wall. Oh, oh! There we go, I almost missed it. It does kind of like a noise whenever you see, whenever you look at it. Maybe I should look for that more. What did that actually do for me? Empty hook. So the key's missing. Does that give me anything? It does not. I don't like that sloshing noise it makes. I don't know why I clicked on it again. But now that doesn't have a thing on it. Okay. So now can I ask him for the key again? Opened new vision thing? Did it? I'll run back to look. Oh, it did! Where is that? Oh. Thank you, because I totally just didn't notice. I have zero perception. Well, there's no way that he used it if he was passed out. So what's that? Validate. I trust myself. Mm hmm Surveilling from afar, the intruder waited for a window of opportunity. When Kimihir went to sleep, the man crept up to the shack and slipped narcotics down the chimney pipe, then blocked it with a cloth. Kimihir inhaled the sedative and fell into a deep sleep. The intruder tried to move him, but the man was heavier than expected. The intruder fell on the sack and dropped his spyglass. In order to transport the servant, he had to use the cart. The final challenge was opening the garden door. Luckily for our intruder, him here had the key in his shack. Remarkable. It makes total sense. Does it? You know what? Sure. It makes perfect sense. Mm hmm. Let's go back to the guy. <laughs> Hello. Bad news. Your friend, friend, your servant is, uh, gone. You'd best have found something by now. I found the residue of first try the after um there are like 30 minutes yeah your servant's recreational interest or an attempt at poisoning Cut walked around the entire map <laughs> you said that you checked the shack earlier did you notice the cart tracks near it now one ought to expect a servant to make regular use of such a thing indeed i would have overlooked the detail were it not for the cart's absence if, as you say, Kimahir never leaves your estate, then where did it go? I expect answers from you, Mr. Holmes, not questions. This guy has no sense of suspense, come on! I hear that someone may have spied upon Kimahir. Might be the owner of the spyglass I found earlier. It appears they were watching for some time, as there was an impressive amount of chewing tobacco on the ground. And your point? I won't keep you in suspense any longer, Captain. Kimmy here was abducted by the owner of the spyglass. When your servant fell asleep, he slipped a narcotic into Kimmy here's brazier to make him sleep even more soundly. In order to carry a man as large as Kimmy here, the intruder stole the cart and rolled him right out of your garden. Now, hold on. All this simply to tell me what I already know. Why haven't you found what? him yet? You knew all that? He only arrived a moment ago. It is, frankly, incredible that I have already deduced so much. Every second you dawdle here, waiting for me to stroke your ego, is another second wasted. I'm not interested in the how, the why, or the who. I am only interested in recovering my investment. Honestly! Well, <laughs> boy, and go and fetch my servant. Yeah, honestly? I'm gonna do it. I'm... I got him. You are so addled by delusions of competency that you miss the blindingly obvious. 
Without the assistance of others, you are utterly incapable. Kimma here endured your nonsense far longer than I will. Uh, the point is, <laughs> Captain, we're telling you this for a reason. The intruder fled through the garden door, and we need a key to follow his trail. Well, then you should have led with that. I asked for the key earlier. I hope you'll return soon with good news. And in the meantime, Bruh. please teach your companion the art of brevity. I'll keep you the, teach you the art of my fist. Honestly. Let me in. Thank you. Ooh, nice. A velocipede. Okay, I'm gonna go intentionally the wrong way first. Wait. Wait a second. Where's the cart? Did... How? How did they get the cart out of here? What? Rolled blocks just for being inconvenient so I can't continue. Well, here's a little small trail. Seagull. Okay, where to? Pretty sure this is the same model as earlier, but hey. I don't judge. Let me out! <laughs> This is open. Why is this open? Stenwick makes his servant live in a tool shed. You think you know something? Okay, you've dealt with him for how long now, and you didn't realize that he's a massive jerk. Honestly, I think this is a you thing now. But then again, he lives with Sherlock, so who knows? Oh, am I supposed to be using my vision? I keep forgetting. So that's the way in. Because I don't I did see these. No? Oh. Found it. <laughs> Satchel. A strange substance. I have my suspicions based on the colour and consistency, but would you care to hazard a guess, Doctor? Roy Soulsborne. Could that be the name of our man? Well, it's odorless, but from the way it absorbs water, I'd say salt. Then we're in agreement. Well done. Wheels picked up grass along the way. Same as years past, I gather. What? I just saw that turn yellow. Where is it? What? Oh, no, I just looked at that. Oh, there it was. It was the rope. Sturdy rope, professionally tied in the Portuguese bowline. This knot is often used by sailors to create a boatswain's chair. Alright. <laughs> Thanks for the information on knots. You. A large pile of horse droppings. How many cigarette butts? Someone stood here for hours. There was a cab waiting here. Our abductor slipped in and then off into the night. You never know. Could have been staying there for hours. Or could have just had like 20 at once. Oops, didn't mean to click that. Didn't mean to click that either. Um. I. I don't know the timeline before this, but he was here from the start of the game, so. It's not like he just met him. I think this is another universe. Like, an entirely different storyline in general. So I don't know if something changed, but uh, I'm pretty sure this Watson is real. <laughs> I'm missing something again. Oh, these look like car- no, this was the thing from earlier. <gasps> the horse is standing now. Why are you standing? Is there a reason why you're standing, random horse? You look important now. 
Like you're about to give me a quest. Okay, so... You, we find that out, like, very early in the uh, first one with how he teleports everywhere. And then you talk to him and nobody else can hear him and stuff. Okay, so they brought him here. But then what? Wait, let me check. Ho ho! One of these are going to work eventually. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. One of these. I don't care which one, but one of them's gonna work. Might be this. It might be this. It might be this. <laughs> I I don't think it's either of these three, but hey. Might as well give it a try. What a surprise. Okay, where to next? Or what's this one? Notable features of the abductor. Um, the abductor specifically, I think it has, it probably has to do with, um, the sailor stuff. And then, maybe the claw? No, it's partly right. That's good enough. Footprints, footprints, yes, footprints. I don't know... Okay, I don't know how the footprints added up to being a sailor, but hey. Whatever. There we go, we needed that one. Okay, we gotta head to the port of London. Fantastic. The strand proved not so useless after all. The saltpeter accident, Doctor, do you recall? The port of London, of course. The footwear, the spyglass. Indeed, we shall need to take a cab then. Alright. How we can take a cab? If I were a cab. I know in the previous games you'd have to go to Sherlock's house to do that, so I'm gonna try that. I hope I'm not just ignoring cabs on the way there. Oh, there's a bird on that cart. That woman's still crying. Hmm. I think I just passed up the place. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. That's that way. Yeah, I don't know how I passed it up. Yeah, kid's right there. Cab, please? Where's the map? The map's not here anymore. Fantastic. How do I take a cab? <laughs> what is that? Well, I kind of want that on my wall. Looks cool. Not you. See. We have to use a cab. Okay. How? How do we... Oh! I was kind of mildly obsessed with them. <laughs> I I played through them a lot. I I tried to 100% them and I did I 100%ed all of them except for I think it was the Devil's Daughter despite being my favorite. I just didn't want to go back. How do I It's final that we find a cab. Okay. Where? Where are the cabs? I don't live here. 
Hello, child, do you know where a cab may be? Well, where are my fingers? There they are. Where's the cab? Earlier the other day when I was delivering papers, I heard noises from your apartment. It sounded like the doctor was yelling in his sleep. Aww. It was literally just a cab. <laughs> you can't return, like, ever? You go. The port of London, please. I will show you where to stay. Just can't return. Ooh, another chief. I'm getting so many. I like that. I like achievements. Oh. Lines. Oh. Oh. Concerning? Alright, I mean, <laughs> I'm a little concerned about that. Oh, thank you so much for the follow! Thanks, well... Well, honk, that's held me. Oh, press any button. Appreciate it. Mr. Holmes, what a compelling mystery we have stumbled upon. Perhaps I have the premise of my next novel. Uh, one kidnapping does not a story make. Stop! Cat! Black cat cross before us. It's a bad omen. How Not dare you. For the superstitious type, Doctor. Such things are mere fantasies, tricks of a feeble mind. One imagines a physician would keep a sure footing in reality. Perhaps, before the war, my time abroad was difficult. Once, I came across an Afghan, bleeding, though I could not say. He pressed a rosary into my hand. A gift, he said, so as to gain God's favor, not the death. Dr. Watson. Yes, well, I shan't get into details, but sometime later I found myself lost in the desert. Dehydration set in, and things grew ever more dire. The man's words came to me. I said a prayer and placed the rosary on a rock. A gift to gain God's favor. And you were rescued. Yes. A detachment of British soldiers found me, to whom I'm grateful. Without their diligence, you would not be standing here, and I would not have this case. Bruh. I'm sure you have another explanation of your head, Mr. Holmes, but I think I shall cling to the occasional superstition I discover. To each his own, Dr. Watson. So long as it does not interfere with my methods, do it. We must press on, cat or no cat. The question remains, why abduct Kinahir? I actually really liked that cutscene. I liked how intense it was. That was pretty cool. I could talk to random people. So, C to pin and then X to speak. Fantastic. I cannot wait to talk to literally everyone. Hello. Oh, I got rid of my random stuff. Well, I guess this would be a good one to start. Hello, person. Talk to me. Is this familiar to you? I think I can help you. Oh. That worked out better than I thought it would. <laughs> a bonus? Where is it? Oh, is it in the main menu? Oh, no, it's right there. Typewriter? Oh. Alright. There's so many. Oh, that's what that number means, then. On the side that keeps popping up. It's bonuses. Is this familiar to you? I can't tell you because I don't know. You could have just said no. It, you, I didn't need an explanation of like you didn't know. Oh, I could ask them the other thing too. Hello, do you know anything about this abduction? May I ask for your assistance? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Can I ask you a question? I can't tell you because I don't know. Okay. <sighs> well, what? How? I'm not gonna question it. Don't question it. This is nice and foggy. So atmospheric. Another cab driver. Good Hello. Evening. As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about it. May I ask for your assistance? As much as I'd like to help okay. you, okay. I know okay. nothing I, about it. Okay, I get it. You know, I'm just gonna try to find the guy. Or I could get distracted immediately and look at this bird. Nice bird. I don't know what's pecking at, because in fact it's air. But hey, nice bird. I think I just need to go to the dockyard. 
Another crash over there because why not? Is this a dockyard? I'm gonna assume this is a dockyard. Ooh! <gasps> this is safe! Yes! This is so safe! Let me in. to feel bad about that. I kind of want to do it again. <laughs> okay. Oops, didn't click that. Ha! Huh, a thing. Red flag. All right, that looks like something to look at. Excuse me, just one question. Sorry. <laughs> of course I know. So cut a long story short. Huh? Oh, I didn't realize it had auto swapped. All right. I. Hmm. Wharf near the ship that exploded yesterday. Which one exploded? Oh my gosh, the fog's Our really messing me up. swear she saw ghosts in Warehouse 2. The hoppers even went over there. You must be serious. Oh, so they did add the same little side quest you could do. That's interesting. I hope they did the gunfight. The gunfights are really fun in the uh, Chapter 1 game. I really like that. I was bad at them, but I like them. Oh, train. Pier 3. If I were an exploded ship, where would I be? Well, I'm not sure if it's exploded, but hey. Not in the mood, mate. Chew! Pardon me, sir. I am looking for Roy. They honestly are. Friend. Yes, I'm Roy. But I can't help you find your uncle or whoever you've lost. Now what makes you think I would inquire about missing people? You are the fourth person to ask this week. Just because I work at the port doesn't mean I keep track of everyone who comes here. You say we are not the first to ask you about a disappearance. Do you recall anything about those who came inquiring? Hmm. I only remember the foreign woman. I didn't catch her name, but... Those are her posters hanging up everywhere. She has badgered me twice now, and I still don't know nothing. And this woman can be found? No clue. She was talking gibberish. May I ask what you're doing here? This is where the ship sank the other day. I'm trying to work out how we'll remove it. Tobot, why not? Where was I? Sink it even more! <laughs> Sherlock just likes calling people out on height. You weren't there for it. But somebody was wearing, um, high-heeled shoes, and he was like, Oh yeah, that person's short, and they're trying to make up for it. Like, what? Homie, calm down! Stamp. There it is. Dang! Alright. Pocket watch. Thief or corrupt officer? Alright, you know what? Sure. Are you- These are our only two options that only changes the pocket watch. Are we sure? These are the only two things it could possibly be. Like, ever? I don't think I have enough information for all this. <laughs> well, if 
if he's talking about how to remove it, I'm going to say officer. I feel like that's fair? Maybe? Yeah. Except, oops, I didn't need to accept that one. Oh, oh hello. Yvonne? Well, I heard the other confirmed it, unfortunately. Um, you were like literally a fraction of a second too late. <sighs> yeah, you make me second think myself. I don't know anymore. <laughs> uh, I hope I was correct. I don't know if that actually changes something. Have you seen this before? My, my God, where did you get that? Up? At a crime scene near Baker Street in Baltimore. Oh, he had a calling card, right? He was totally a thief. I, I, no. Someone used it without my consent. How else would it end up there? You were right. I forgot about the card as well. Can I change it? Is it possible? Can I? I can't. Tragedy. Tragedy. I don't know, like, if that actually affects anything. Hopefully not. It appears that the saltpeter explosion rattled the locals. Can't blame them. Can I talk to you bones. anymore? That boat explosion no. stopped most traffic coming into the port. Guess I'll be without work for a while. Oh, you were. Why would an officer need a ship? That was weird. I just thought he was doing public service. Mosper. Sounds like this ship is from the east. Whatever. It's done now. My money is on a loose cigarette or a discarded match. One careless throw, and boom. Okay. It's over here. Train. Wait. Should have wandered around aimlessly. Should actually look at things. Red rag over the entrance. Well, I just asked about that. Oh, right, this thing. Forgot. I always can forget. Well, I might as well give it a try. I mean, I already clicked on it. Let's try this one. I don't even have enough to do this one. Never mind. Ooh, ooh, what happened? There we go. He's just hanging out. Excuse me. Port shanty town. Hello? What? We've been over that. Port shanty town with a red rag over the entrance. Well, this is the warehouse, so that's not quite where I want to be. Cursed landing. Where am I? I'm right here. I'm lost. I'm terrible at maps. Hello, what's up? Good evening, constable. I heard some people talking of ghosts in this warehouse. <sighs> well, the gossips, all of them. An old lady neighbor saw some lights and ghostly shapes in the middle of the night. She heard music too. Turns out this was the warehouse of Grandpa Cujo. He owned the business with theater props for scary shows. I went in and, well, it is a bit creepy. But I think it was probably just some kids fooling around. Do you mind if I take a look inside? Not at all. It's like Madame Tussauds, only worse. I'll be on the beat round the pub for the rest of the night. What damned explosion. Good night, sir. So if he was just gonna go to the pub, why was he just standing in front of this for no reason? 
Fair enough. But, well, no, that's fair. That's not fair enough. Why did I say that? Found the ghost. <laughs> An effective contraption. It still works. I jump on there. I cannot. I think I need to rebind my keys. I'm not sure if I've like Sorry I got distracted by bottles. I'm not sure if I like um it being on Z. There was a box in the coffin. It was removed quite recently. Nice hand. They opened the casket and left marks. What's the next thing? It's over here. Just a little over here. Oh no, am I blind again? I'm blind, aren't I? If I press Q again, or not? Oh, I'll, I'll I'll come back to this one. Yeah, I'm sure I won't forget about this. Yeah. This is some good fluorescent glow in the dark paint. As someone who's really into art, I want this. Like this. What brand phosphorus. is this? It's phosphorus. Right. That makes a little more sense. Where is this going? And how is it going? How is that going? <laughs> oh, oh well. Boots. Somebody have fun. Dang, I'm about to start using phosphorus in my paint. I don't even know if that's safe. Okay, Several somebody just really wants to various shapes and sizes. I detect a mix of chemicals and aromas. No brand or markings. It looks like a bulk product. Fair enough. That's most likely the ghost the old lady saw through the window. Ah, cloth ghost. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't notice that, and that was mildly terrifying. Inspired by the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, that was a little. A small cart left those tracks. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, okay. Come back in. that all right I think we do actually have a ghost in it I think it's haunting that board <laughs> okay back to this where's the next part where is it it's here somewhere it's gotta be not okay. it's gotta be here somewhere Oh, oh, there it is. A herbal odor with an acidic base. Liquor? It was just a drop. <sighs> I'm doing my best. <laughs> is that a banana? <laughs> Why is it just a banana? <laughs> Did I miss anything upstairs? Oh. I think I just saw something right there. I did. Who is this intended to scare? Honestly, it'd scare me. Like, I won't lie to you, Sherlock. That'd scare me. Oh no, the banana fell! Tragedy has struck. Uh, I don't think I missed anything up here. Oh, wait! Q thing, right. Can't forget. No, that... I don't think that's it. <laughs> I wish that was it. There we go.
Oh, I wish. I wish that was the case. <laughs> That'd just be so much funnier. Okay, let's see other options. What does this mean? <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and say that one. Uh... No. <laughs> A little less fun, but hey. I'd validate this, you know what? Why not? Let's try. Somebody played with phosphorus to give the illusion of ghosts or ectoplasm. In reality, they were here to mix a few ingredients and prepare a solution of some sort. Then they took a box hidden inside the casket. And they left through that gate with a small cart. One second. Right, okay. I guess I should go find the uh, police officer now. Where did he say he was? He was at the pub. Where is that? It's probably the Cursed Mermaid. Oh no, that's sneeze. What do you mean the, you don't like it? What happened to the stuff in the casket? Oh, well the casket was still there! So I assume they just took it out of the casket. Like, they took it out of the casket and then brought it to, um, the cart and then left. Then why was it in the casket? I don't know. <laughs> but the boxes aren't there anymore, so... I just assumed they took it out. Who knows? Might be totally wrong. How do I figure out where I am? And then go from there. Yes. This way is not the place, but this will put me in a better position to know where I am. Also, I am now by the water. Where is by the water? But here, I'm right here. Perfect. So if I follow all the way down, fantastic. So good with maps. Yeah. I sense direction is on point. I got a little sidetracked with this uh, mission from the main story, but hey, why not? I don't know what I'm doing. Right here. You. I completely passed don't you up. In ghosts. I did when I was a kid. What? Do you... Am I not supposed to come to you to say this? Oh. I need to track them down. Alright, let's go back. Right here, then I turn. I can't wait to fight literal Cthulhu because I'm sure that happens in this game, right? At some point. Just gotta get there. It was. It came out this way. I don't see. Oh, right there. Hello, do you know anything? May I ask you something? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, so it made, like, a turn? Oh, right there. Um, now which way from here? I don't think I'm lit that way. Or maybe it did. Um, No, those are these are stairs. I don't think it went that way. That just, I, I think that would just not be a good idea. It's gotta be this way. Just keep looking for tracks and hoping 
I found something. Well, crap. <laughs> I think I lost it. <laughs> That's not it. I don't really know what the noises go on over there. Hey, there are some noises. Okay, let's try that again. Did- When did Sherlock change his clothes without me realizing? <laughs> and how didn't I realize? Okay, so it's right here. Oh. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Dr. Tippett's electric hectoplane. Patent medicine of the future. This is a patent medicine. A quick fix at an expensive price that drags <coughs> the patient slowly into death. Okay. Cool. <laughs> You're probably right. I don't think I'm playing as Sherlock. I think I'm just Watson right now. <laughs> Okay, now, what does this do for me? Can I go talk to the constable this time? It's a large harbor. If our kidnapper is hiding here, finding him won't be easy. No, Watson, we're not on that right now. We need to figure out what's going on with these ghosts. <laughs> Sorry, Watson. I don't care about the kidnapping anymore. <laughs> Constable! Dog! No, don't get distracted. Constable. My older brother used to creep outside and whisper at me through the window. That's... Homie, I think you have trauma. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you this, but... Oh, I can go in here. Oh, hardly a reputable establishment. Don't That's be rude. Noise. Greetings, miss. I'm hoping you can help us. I shall say so. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to be. Well, might as well. She's pregnant. to say that she's just unaware. I don't know, just... I don't really have anything to say otherwise. Maybe I should stop doing the observations first. I'll eventually remember to stop doing the observations first. Should I do it? Should I just say it? Should I just tell her that she has a child? Why not? Miss, what <laughs> if I told you that you are in the family way? No. Really? Oh, thank you, Fuck. sir. How would I, a sinful woman, have ever known without your help? He must be a doctor. In a manner of speaking. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, not him. Now I feel bad, not gonna lie. Oh, fine, thank you. I'd rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. <laughs> that would be actually great. <laughs> My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things down. I heard tell of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in a ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was rent with smoke till morning. Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier, next to the dockyard. We, we already knew that. We went to it, Sherlock. We went to it before talking to her. Like, uh. Alright, um. Yes, do you know about you this guy? Work, here. What do you know about this poster? A foreign woman asked to put it up. She's plastered them all over the port. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. 
Maybe it's hard to understand what she was saying. What can I get you? Is that all? Okay. Am I frozen? I don't think I am. Never mind. What? Hello! I don't know how I didn't see you. You're cute. I like cats. You couldn't tell. Oh, I don't think I'm doing that. There we go. Fair enough. Oh, favorite thing about this game so far is I just... Oh, not that one. It's just hit things. Can't fall over, but hey. I could spend hours just knocking things around. Can I go in here? Oh, that was just outside. Okay. You look so judgmental in that corner. <laughs> Dang. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me, just one question. I think I can help you. Oh, I actually worked. There's dispense in a yard to the. Okay. Just in shanty towns. Awesome. Yes. That means I have to find the shanty town. Which I did an amazing job at earlier whenever I got distracted by this quest. It was right here. <sighs> Great! I actually did do amazing! Won't go away, and the doctor's too pricey. Is yes. this familiar to you? Tell me about I it. Wish I could be about, but I you can't. can't. You you were just talking about it. You just okay. Bye. There's fish in that tree. I'm not gonna question it. Hello, child. Sorry to barge in. Is this where I may find Dale? You read the poster? Yes. How did no, I end up here? Vases. Sadly, no. Well, not yet. Where did you last see Gervais? <sighs> he worked at a, um, warehouse. This man, Roy Solby, gave him the job. He paid him a ne a necklace. How would you describe this Salisbury? We already know. He was big and strong um he had a big scary eye scary you say yes like uh like it was made of metal do you still have the necklace that Salisbury gave to Gervais Gervais left it near the um shrine thank I you so much for the follow I really appreciate it medicine but but no one wanted to buy. I want to speak to Dea. Is she around? Emma, my mother. She got sick after the hot, the fire. Big red smoke. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. Now I am in charge. Don't go anywhere. Why'd you whisper that? That was. <laughs> You know what? Okay, buddy. You can whisper that if you want to whisper that. This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. Oh, there it is. I miss Gervais. Do you think he's okay? Well, unfortunately, Sherlock's not going to answer that question ever and just keep you in a constant state of worry. What's How up, Watson? I, I could try and flag someone down. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. I should have helped Amma put out the posters. If she hadn't been in the smoke so long, maybe she wouldn't be sick. Okay, that's all I saw in there. I wonder what we're gonna find next. Are we gonna find the side quest or the main quest? Excuse me. Excuse. Excuse me. 
Oh, that's the red cloth. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Almost out of fish the last couple fights. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully, there's no um, giant eldritch god in the um, waters or anything. <laughs> really, just want something eldritch to happen. Now I'm out of the shanty town. I need to stay in here. Maybe. Oh, I don't think I'm getting anywhere if I do it like that. Pin this. Oh, that was what was pinned. Fantastic. The coffin won't go away. Got to pin it right. Where would this be? Oh, oh, hello. Oh, those people will need my help. Yes, help hello. them. This is Dr. Watson. Let's take a look at your face. Do it. Help. What are you looking at? What? Would you like to watch how a man suffocates himself for food? I just wanted to say hi. Are you able to? Oh. Sorry, sir. Can't help you. I think I found out who needs the help. My bad. I still alive. I think. Yeah, he's moving. Did that not do it? Ooh, yikes. Freshly dug up treasures, it seems. Oh, that makes a little more sense than what I was thinking. These people take something from them. I saw the fork and I just thought, yeah, he's eating that. That's his meal. But I guess that makes more the sense. Has a curious whitish tinge to it. Yeah, probably don't drink that then. The subject is hyperventilating. He has a pale face and dilated pupils. Dilated pupils, depolarized skin, necrosis. What do you make of this, Doctor? A bad I time. Point towards acute poisoning, oh. which could possibly be due to chemicals. I won't jump to any conclusions here. Well, are you gonna do anything about it? <laughs> oh, oop, oh no, my bad. I <laughs> are you able to help me? Stop asking me for help. You should ask someone else. What about this guy? Help me, please. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should just stop clicking on people. Oh, is there anything else? Oh, I want to dive into the water so bad again. No, don't, don't worry about it. He's fine. He's he's just. It's a it's a back massage. Okay. Oops. Maybe a cue or. Hi. <laughs> yeah, are we gonna do anything about this or? If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Watson. There's something that makes me think this wouldn't be a good time. Like, first of all, these people around us are probably very hungry. Second of all. Whatever. You do you. Oh, look for it upstream. Oh, now I have another quest! <laughs> Which way's upstream? I'm going to s say this way is upstream. Oh, hello. Oh. food carries danger, but not of the kind that we witnessed. Girls. This composing for weeks. If this were the origin of the disease, it would have started sooner than a few days ago. Also, we're not gonna provide any first aid. Buildings, we need to find other open sections in order to continue our search. Dang it. How dare I not be able to barge into people's homes? <sighs> I know, Sherlock. I agree with that. Ha! Huh. We're not even gonna tell these people to, like, not drink the water? Like, we're just leaving? We're gonna find out the cause? 
Shortcut. Ignore the log. Oh, banana's back. that actually bring me to where I wanted to go? Oh, hello. Human waste. This Gross. looking fairly hazardous. I doubt it could cause such acute poison. Gross. Um I could try Oh yeah, I could probably just walk over here. What's that? More human waste? This pipe disposes of waste water from a factory. A possible culprit, but would likely have caused trouble a long time ago. Moving on. So, what I'm finding I out right see now. Any other major source of contamination in this section of the waterway? Perhaps another place. So, what I'm finding out right now is that there are a lot of possible sources. <laughs> Which kind of sucks. So, we are here. So, there's one up there if we follow the train tracks. Gotta find the train tracks in. I'm going the wrong direction, aren't I? Other way. <laughs> yeah, at least I stopped myself that time, so. Uh, character development, I guess? Okay, so we follow this. Is there a fast travel? Was there a fast travel? There was. It, I'm going to pretend like I knew that and was actively choosing to um travel this way. Ugh. Phenol, a dangerous substance often used as a sanitizer. Oh, and the fish. Chemicals. Uh, have to wait. So ship from here. Ivy spade chemicals. All right. Somebody overloaded the cart then. What else? It's the dead fish. The fish's scales have decolorized. Ew. What a disaster. By force? A recent car crash. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Just by force meeting the crash. What's this? Help! Oh, just missing for me. There's the missing. What next? I don't know what else to do with this, so... If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some... Excuse me, do you know do anything you about this? Power? Help me, please. I think I can help you. These people are so helpful! Oh my gosh, Warehouse 5. Okay. And now, I can use the fast travel system. Yes. True. Mind Palace, yes. I think my palace might just be for main story, so maybe not. Uh, unless there's a way to change it and I don't know. Do I have another outfit? I don't like that. Going back to this one, I like this one. Five, warehouse five, yes. Three. Four. Oh yeah, I can count. Six. No, wait, where's five? I pass the up. Twelve. Okay, no, I'm wrong direction. Five. Wait, what? Three. Two, three. Then it goes for four. Then six and seven. So it's gotta be in here, right? 
Except that this is 12. Oh no, I can't count. 11. That's right, I know all my numbers, just not in the correct order. This is where I was just at. I didn't need to fast travel. <laughs> it was right there. Where is this taking me? I think I'm going in circles now. Yeah! I, my favorite um, method of counting is to actually skip a few numbers in between because it just makes it easier, faster. So maybe they're not in order. So maybe I should just go to what? I found it. How do I get over there? Five. Hello. Yes, top hat person. Talk to me. Barrels of phenol from your company ended up in the canal. It has poisoned people. You will need to clean it up properly. Otherwise, we will inform the authorities. Yeah! We will call the cleaning brigade immediately. I hope this can stay between us. Let's go, Sherlock! Preventing environmental disaster! With my man! Now what? <laughs> Is that solve it? Mudlarks are still waiting for instruction? I don't know what I was supposed to be doing in this situation. Talk to me again. Can I ask you a question? I can't help you with that, sir. He can't help me with that! It's your cup! If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? You know what? You know what? That's fine. I could have just... I'll just stop doing this one and try another one instead. You know, because I've been doing that this entire time. I'm sure it's nothing new. Yeah, we know about that. So this one. He also mentions the pendant, which is on the altar, which we saw. But I could also ask you, random person. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Sorry, sir. Can't Dang. Talk to them. Not even true. Okay, where were they? They were up down there in Shanty Town. Shanty Town. The coffin might now lie in front of the doctor's cheap price. Oops. Uh, this one. What was it? This. Pen accident. Gentlemen, the doctor here and I have found the source of the. Oh, you're right. Just look at that. Spade chemicals. Will Thanks. Be that's that's pretty good news. But how long will it take? And what about our friends or someone? I'm just not gonna look at them. Pressurize the company. Let them now get rid of the stained clothes and rinse any phenol affected skin. No one else should touch the canal today. Thank you, we'll do that. Let's go to the cheap doctor for help. You wanna say that again, Watson? You wanna... You... Can you say that again a little bit louder? <laughs> I, I'm sure they'll be fine, like, uh, nothing bad can happen from that. <laughs> oh. Alright, now we can look for this. Yes, okay. Hello. Can I ask you a question? Oh, I'm telling you, Doctor Hyde, I don't know. Okay. Um I've left Chance Town. I need to stop leaving it. That's safe. Okay, if I like be somewhere that I can look at with a where are we? Found it. <laughs> Once again, just walking up to people and looking at them. What's up, homie? Hand. 
Huh, I wonder if Mayhaps he has something to do with the Phosphorus. <laughs> That's such a good name for a homemade medicine book. His hands are stay Phosphorus. He was trying to make a quick book. I think he's making a quick book. Sorry, Good homie. Evening, sir. Are you the gentleman who sells that intriguing crypto brain beverage? Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Dr. Thomas Tippett, and yes, it's proud inventor and purveyor. Are you a doctor? You seem remarkably young. <laughs> I'm self-educated. I help people in need around these parts with my medicine. Helping, as in bringing to the grave? Oh, that is unfair, sir. The virtues of my invention are to calm the nerves, to stop coughing due to the endless smog, and to help children to sleep. Has your beverage been tested by your peers or any medical authority? Pop off. I am a doctor, and it appears that you are playing with people's lives, people who place their trust in you to ease their pain. People need help, and drugs are expensive. My formula helps, and it's inexpensive. Mm. The product is dispensed from here only, so dose and usage are controlled. Mm. I look into other patented medicines. They contain harmful and useless substances, mm. and they're sold in respected shops and pharmacies. Do you realize what you are doing? You are playing with people's health. You are a doctor. Take a look at my product. Okay. You won't find mercury, radium, lithium, or any other toxic substances drowned in alcohol and sold freely by so-called health professionals. I can show you how I work. Let me help you. Watson, what do you make of this situation? I, I'm not sure. Patent medicines can be a scourge, yes. But he is not entirely wrong in practice. Why the haunted warehouse? Well, nobody was using it. Why have I always been wrong? Places. It kept them away until today. Er what I do is every I time except for like two, I've been wrong with people. I do help people. Oh, this is how I sleep at night. This this is a very comfy position. I can guarantee it. The patient has a high temperature and is short of breath. <laughs> if we stay out much longer, I'm going to I need some supper. Please. <laughs> the cart from warehouse two. Yeah, check it out. Cart. Ignore I the blood. The patient suffers with their lungs. Um, going here? No. Ooh, nice, dirty syringe. Hell yeah. As a bio major, this really just scratches my brain. I help up to fifty people here every day. It is worth it. All right, fair enough. <laughs> oh, so I could just. Oh no, it's a moral choice. Oh. These people need it, but at the same time, he's also mildly causing them harm by doing, you know, unsafe medicine practices. Uh... The coffin won't go away. The doctor's too pricey. Well, great news, buddy. There's one right over there. I don't know how I missed that like five times though. That's a little weird. I'll I'll think about that. I'll come back to it. Great. Great. I think I might have missed something at the altar, so I'm gonna go back. Or I didn't, I guess. Ah, uh, listen. Anything I do, n I'm still a freshman. Anything I do now does not um portray my bio. Besides, I'm animal bio, not human bio. <laughs> the coffin won't go away, and the okay, doctor's I get it. The doctor's pricey. Leave me alone. Bleh. Fast travel. And I haven't taken my morality class yet. That was going to be in two semesters. Where am I? 
this way. Do you have an eye? What are you gawping at? I'm looking at your eye. What's this? Help you there, mate. Thanks. What's I've this? I've been told that you hired Dea's son, Gidvest, right before he vanished. His brother also said you had a metal eye. What do you make of this? Tell that imp to stop making things up. Okay. Cool. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Let's try things from here. I might... Green. Aha! Uh -huh. We're at three now. I could do it. Um... Well, no, it wouldn't be that. Oops. Oh, it would be that. Great. <laughs> now, where is he? Okay, don't have enough then. It also mentions the pendant being on the altar. Let's see. A strong man with a metallic eye. So I'm looking for someone with a metallic eye. Maybe a random civilian will know. Hello. Excuse me, sir. You know anyone with metal eye? May I ask for your assistance? As much as I'd like Dang to it. help you, I know nothing about it. Alright, I'm assuming that if you just ask one, that it works. 